How's it going everyone? Jerry here with Any Level Fitness. I'm going to show you a few stretches to help with any sciatic nerve problem that you may be experiencing. Um, so the sciatic nerve obviously goes from your back and down both legs, but it crosses through the glutes. Most of the problem is it's either we get a really bad sunken in back, so that kind of pinches on that nerve a little bit, and it also is going through your glute muscles, so a deep butt muscle is also tight. So, what I normally do, and we'll sit down on the foam roller. So if you don't have a foam roller, I invest in one as soon as possible, and this will start helping with a lot of your tightness in your muscles. But uh, I'm gonna sit on it, gonna get all, all the pressure on my right glute, and I'm gonna go from the top of my hip all the way down. Now to enhance this stretch, I'm gonna pull this leg over like this. This kind of opens my glute up a little bit, spreads it apart. And so we're stretching it there like this and then we're rolling back and forth. And obviously do one side, so if you feel more pain on the left side versus the right, obviously you wanna focus more on the left side of the body. Moving back and forth. And now, if you're experiencing more of the pain in your back, we go down and we roll our back. So across here, and I'll go about halfway up, up my back, right, right to there, all the way to that lower part of my back. But don't extend over it like this, okay? So stay up nice and tall. So, and then after you roll, you sit there, Cross one leg over and then just lean. Push that knee down so this kind of opens up that glute and hip area. And we push it down. Normally for about 20 to 30 seconds, then obviously switch legs. You may find that one leg is drops down further than the other one. So my right leg actually drops lower than my left, so my left side is tighter than my right. And then I just need to push it down. If you can, if you can lay on your back, cross the leg over, you can do the same thing, push it. Or if you, if you can reach through, grab your knee and pull. And if that's a problem, if you can't reach through and grab the front of your leg, grab the back of your leg and pull. And if that still is a problem, there's one other stretch you can do that helps stretch out that glue. So, which is still keep the leg crossed like this, but move the left foot out to the left. Take your right knee, push on your, I mean, take your left knee, push on your right foot, take your knee and pull across your body. So, this is really going to get stretched all the way down through here. So, and if you're pregnant and it feels like maybe you're kind of far along and your stomach's in the way, I would stick with. Sitting up nice and straight and pushing that knee down. And make sure your back isn't rounded off too. So, one more stretch and I'm gonna show you. And this is just a downward dog stretch. It stretches out that lower part of your back really well. So, there's two ways of doing this. We get down on our forearms and we either lean back or we just stay up like this and lean back. But now our back is already extension. Let's tuck the pelvis and then lean back. Okay, it's all about getting that pelvis tucked. So if we don't, this, we want this engaged so we can stretch those back muscles out. And I know if you're pregnant, it's kind of hard to engage those muscles, but try to get the pelvis to rotate forward. So I think all those stretches help, but the first thing I would do is definitely foam roll and then do these stretches. Okay? Alright, give those exercises a try.